Keep your heads up and your arms covered, beautiful family in Jesus Christ. The day is approaching and we see it. So keep watching and being patient. And keep the word of his patience and he'll keep you from the hour of temptation that will come across the whole world. Now let's get started with the verse of the day and it's Proverbs 14.34. Righteousness exalteth the nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. And after I said good morning to the Father and the Son and prayed, I posted the daily verse in the community. And then I opened the Bible to Romans chapter 9, verse 30. What shall we say then, that the Gentiles, which followed not after righteousness, have attained to righteousness, even the righteousness which is of faith? But Israel, which followed after the law of righteousness, hath not attained to the law of righteousness. Wherefore? Because they sought it not by faith, but as it were by the works of the law. For they stumbled at that stumbling stone. As it is written, Behold, I lay in Sion a stumbling stone and rock of offense, and whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Now on to the signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, right where Jesus Christ said they would be. And real quick, when you go to RenewedMoon.com, you can see that the new moon was confirmed globally and it was confirmed yesterday over Israel. And when you go to Earth Sky, you can see that it says Cosmic Trio, the moon, Venus, and Mars on June solstice, which is tomorrow. And you can see that I highlighted it and this article came out the day before yesterday. But... I touched on this briefly in a video a couple weeks ago. Now I'm going to show you what's gigantinormous about this Mars, Venus, and the crescent moon conjunction. As you can see right here, the moon is between what they call the constellation Gemini and Cancer. And when you go to tomorrow, you can see that the moon moves past what they call Cancer, headed toward Venus and Mars. And as you go through the hours, you could see on the solstice, they line up in a triangle. Now here's what's gigantinormous, and I've went over this. In Strong's Bible Concordance, Greek 323, the definition is a showing forth. And as you can see right there, this heavenly trio with the moon, Venus, and Mars is in conjunction with the comet 323, a showing forth. And like I showed you in previous videos, that comet 323, a showing forth, has been stuck between Leo and Cancer. And if we're still here, I'll show you what happens after this. Because comet 323 is headed for the heart of the lion, Regulus. Regulus, the handle of the sickle that makes up the lion's head. All glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ the lion of the tribe of Judah, that said the signs would be in the sun, the moon, and the stars. And these halos have been surrounding the sun and the moon frequently more and more. And here's a picture that they're calling the summer ice halo. And when you look at the sun, the sun spots today, there's 11 showing. In 3335 and 3336 are earth facing right now, and they're gigantic. But the next biggest sunspot that's coming and should be Earth-facing in the next couple days is right there. It's 3339. And the definition in Strong's is gigantinormous. And the definition in Strong's Greek is to transform. And that's what we're waiting to do. To be transformed in a twinkle of an eye into our new incorruptible bodies. And the usage is, I transform, transfigure. And that reminds me of the transfiguration of Jesus Christ when Moses and Elijah appeared. And when you scroll down, it's the first occurrence, Matthew 17, 2, and was transfigured before them. Now I'll take you to the sun in Stellarium. And as you can see right there, the sun is on the club of the constellation Orion right next to the asteroid Esther, which is named after the queen Esther in the Bible, the astronomer that 
found this asteroid, named it Esther, after the Bible, the queen. And right next to that is the queen Cleopatra and the false god queen Juno. And as you go through the days, you could see Mercury headed toward the sun. And if we're still here on June 28th, which will be eight months and 11 days since Christina escaped, Mercury and the sun are in conjunction with Esther in what they call the constellation Gemini. So keep your heads up, family. Your crown is coming. And I just got hit with the Holy Spirit. Praise you, Father, in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. And back to what Jesus Christ said, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And he said, and upon the earth, distress of nations, like right now, family, with perplexity. Russia attacking Ukraine. Syria in civil war for over a decade. China threatening to attack Taiwan. Military all over the United States. And as you can see, as I was leaving California going across the Richmond Bridge, there's white vans everywhere. And military trucks on every freeway. I took this picture of them, but they were on the 101, the I-5, the 15. They're moving all over the place. And a lot of people are saying, oh, these are just drills. But in all my life, I've never seen the military so active. And in cities. Like right here. The kids running off by an ice cream shop. I'm sure you've been seeing the videos and I've been posting them in the community. In this one right here in Philadelphia, there was tanks on the streets in the city. And this one right here was tanks in Idaho. And it looked like they were driving down the freeway. Wow. This is what is coming in right now. It's everywhere, fam. This is not a drill, family. So They're where are these little bad boys going? And this is Hollywood. Jesus Christ is coming to get us. When he comes, people will be eating and drinking and planting and building and getting married. And if it wasn't for the elect's sake, no flesh would be saved. The sea and the waves roaring. Welcome back. Breaking now on Fox Weather, Tropical Storm Brett has been named in the tropical Atlantic. We've been watching this. We were saying that we expected this through the afternoon hours. And there it is, per this latest bulletin from the National Hurricane Center, Tropical Storm Brett, which is technically the third named storm of the 2023 Atlantic season. We had the subtropical storm that was named in post-analysis that occurred back here on in January. We tracked it on Fox Weather. Arlene, a couple of weeks back, and now Brett, that could be Cindy right behind it. So these are the forecast paths. And Brett, the name means Britain. But the storm coming right behind Brett is named Cindy. 
And biblically, Cindy means reflecting Jesus' light, being the light of the world. So shine bright, family. Keep your lamps on and your oil burning. We're the body of Christ Jesus. And it is finished. And we have eternal life. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. And I wanted to share this with you. Grammy, the neighbors, brought her to the cemetery yesterday to put flowers on Christina's headstone. When I shopped to California, I picked up the headstone in San Francisco, and then I had to take it to a different city to have them put the cement base on it with the flower cup holder. But it is finished. Praise God. All glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. And thank you, family, every single one of you that helped me and that pray for us. God bless you all. I love you. And the kids' birthdays were on the 11th and the 13th. So I had to come back before the cemetery set it in the ground. But Grammy was so nice to send me this picture yesterday. It comforted me. And it's the first thing I'll be doing when I get back is visiting Christina's gravesite. And Christina wouldn't want you to be sad. And I'm not going to be sad. I'm rejoicing over her faith and eternal life. All glory to our Father in your name, Jesus Christ. And while we're waiting on Jesus Christ to come and get us and to take us home to the marriage supper of the Lamb, I'm working on this rapture flyer. I'm almost done, family. And if we're still here, God willing, I'll be printing it up ASAP and sharing it with you. And all glory to our Father. And it's all because He speaks to you and tells you to help me in this ministry be fruitful. I already have the backpacks and the Bibles and all the supplies. All I need now is the food and the water. And soon as I have some more money, I'm going to try to get more tents. Last time I was only able to get seven. But I'm out of funds and the ministry's out of funds. So I'm just being patient waiting for our Father to supply all my needs according to the riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And with all the signs and the sun, the moon, and the stars, and the nations rising against nations, and kingdoms against kingdoms, and the sea and the waves roaring, please take this serious. Jesus Christ is coming to get us. Please take his word serious. Jesus Christ is coming to get us, to take us to the marriage supper of the Lamb. We're moments away. The signs are escalating. Wars and rumors of war are escalating. The times of Noah are escalating. And I'll wrap it up with this, and it's extremely gigantinormous. Like it, MK presents plan to divide Temple Mount between Jews and Muslims. They presented a plan already, family to divide the Temple Mount. And this article was put out on June 11th. And it says that this Nesset member suggested a plan to divide the Temple Mount equally between the Jews and Muslims, according to his plan. The Muslims will receive the southern area, including al Aska Mosque, and the Jews will receive the central and northern area of the mountain, including the Dome of the Rock. In order to implement this plan, he suggested removing Jordan from its custodianship of the holy site. And it says, let's start with the facts. The area of the Temple Mount is 144 dunams, like the 144,000 elect. And that's 37 acres. Imagine that. A small part of it is the al Aska Mosque. At the southern end of the mountain, the Muslims expanded the mosque beyond recognition starting in the year 2000 when they annexed Solomon's stables, excavating and removing huge amounts of dirt that included precious archaeological findings and building another large mosque in the space. On the other side of the Temple Mount stands the Dome of the Rock structure with the foundation stone in the center. That is where the first and second temples stood. This is most of the area of the mountain, which is the holiest place for the Jewish people. 
For the Muslims, the Dome of the Rock is a historical monument, not a mosque. For us, it is the Holy of Holies. So all they really have to do is shake Jordan and take over the Temple Mount and split it in half and build the temple. They already have the red heifers. They already have it all lined up to start the daily sacrifices again. The rapture can happen any moment, family, so keep your heads up.